Welcome back to the Welcome to part 5 of the 24 Hours of Le Mans on Project Cars 2. Officially 8 hours into this race, we are 4 away from halfway. This actually might be a solo one, I don't know. Stupid lap car wouldn't get out of my freaking way. Come on now. I was trying to pass him and he forced me wide. Try to go for a 16 hour stream. Hasn't gotten pitch dark yet. Oh, if I play with my headlights, it's because I'm letting the back markers know I'm about to lap you. Apparently, we had some technical difficulties, which Greg will not accept. He will not apologize. So, not sure why, but either way, this could be part two of the Rush Hour Renegade here on Twitch. Hi, one person in the chat, by the way. Basically, this attempt may be good.
Whoa! Hang on, car. If I was in a voice call, we would be already, um, we already chatting. Let me see, where did my phone go? Oh, there you are. Whoops. having some connection issues with Greg. I don't know what's going on. Because I cannot even watch his stream for some reason. I don't know why. We do apologize. And YouTube is starting to fucking piss me off. God damn it, YouTube. Let me reboot my phone. I don't know what's wrong with YouTube. I apologize about my phone, guys. I 
about to smack my phone fully clothed, not with Barbie. I might have the rush our weekend edition tomorrow. Hopefully, we don't have any deaths between now and then. Seriously, YouTube? No, I want to resume the race. I don't want to exit the race. If I exit the race, it fucks everything up. stop show some finish it up today that's like three or four times I've messed up in the Porsche curves and by the way Greg did not answer oh hi Greg who didn't answer my question I just put in the stream on his rush hour renegade Uh, you might want to have to fix your rush. Uh, how can the rush hour renegade continue when this stream could go past 4 a.m.? Just so you know. Just so you know. Because you'll be already asleep by then. Or this could be the rush hour renegade, even though it'll be on a Saturday. Who knows? Actually, uh, correction, one of the videos that just got uploaded will actually be the, well, if, well, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, we are now in the ninth portion of this race. We're just about three hours and 48 minutes away from what will be the halfway mark of this race. Just loan one of the parts for the Rush Hour Renegade. If you want me to. Actually, the one that's going up right now is actually the Premier. Yeah, because right now the one from last, or the one from two nights ago is actually up. Or no, I think it's a, the one I tried to do last night, so. The one I did earlier today is up for part four. Blue flag, blue flag. Blue 
flag! Blue flag! Yeah. Yeah, good luck trying to watch this race later, because it will be a very long video, so, yeah. By the way, guys, my Arby's was so good, and I did not share with all of you. of this race. Yeah, this race has been pretty adventurous. And for those of you that missed like the first third of this race, then something's wrong with you. So, because you missed a hell of a fun, interesting first third of this. Like I said, we are all because we're like now. I think you know, 45 minutes away from completing hour nine. Then it'll be hour ten. Once we complete hour ten and hour eleven, we'll be at the halfway mark of this race, and then the sun will start to come up a couple hours later. So this is going to be a really short night stint. Like I said, the sun has gone down, so we can see fine. Visibility is going to be the problem, however. How's everybody doing today? Other than me just trying to get this... Uh, Greg is happy to hear this news, but my package is now south of Edmond. So, it should be here tomorrow. We hope it will be here. If it's already here today, good God. I'll send something to Taylor in return. Who knows, I could ship Taylor a package, who knows? Like a computer. Like what he did for me, so... So, yeah. If Greg did not hear the news, uh, I think he... I don't think... I don't know if he brought it up or not, Greg. I don't know if Greg brought up the news or not. But if he didn't, J. Bowmeister, by the way, is done for the year. He is not going to be coming back for neither the regular season nor the postseason. In other words, he is done for the year. He may be done for good. Start your your PS4. I think I think that's what happened to me. I think I had I think I had to restart my PS4, and I think it fixed the problem. But if not, I could go I could uh, go ahead and put the uh, one that's for three and a half hours as part of the Rush Hour Renegade, so I can have so you have something to fill it to have something to fill that void. At least you can be glad it's a three hour pre three hour video. Yeah. Blue flag. 
I've already had a really adventurous... Yeah, this weekend is not going to be a pretty fun one for me. Like, I don't even know if Greg's aware about this, but I just got my freaking hours cut again last night. Which, this angered me really easily. So instead of me working 6 to 11.30, oh hell no, they want me to be there at 6.15. Like, seriously? There's a guy I took out earlier in the race. As we're getting closer and closer to the halfway mark of this race. Won't be another hour or so until it goes completely dark. Yeah, because I actually had a three... Because I actually am getting part four, by the way, made. Because we were talking about some stuff in the... In the, uh... In the last Twitch stream. So, and part three, by the way, is already premiering right now. Basically, what I'm telling you is... In case you missed what the heck happened the first third of the race... Be thankful about the premieres, which I know Greg will have to get caught up on that this weekend... That way, he's all caught up on what's going on in this race, if you know what I mean. Because if Greg doesn't even know what, I, what in the world happened to me in the first, what, eight or so hours of this race, then there you go. This one, uh, if I end up do finishing 16 hours of this race, stream-wise, this is actually going up tomorrow. Yeah, this is actually going up tomorrow. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's already out when I'm done, because I have to, because I have to, I have to put this at 6:30 uh, Central Time because the 11 o'clock will be on, will be on tomorrow. But I'll have something coming out that way. If anyone asks what's premiering, it would be this because after this, after the. Um, 11 o'clock you can go back to my live sh or back to the premiere which is this one to watch the remainder of this possibly remainder of this race if I don't finish the race today here's what I'm trying to have have completed if I don't finish the race today here's two options I'm gonna have one is I'm going to finish the race tomorrow that way it's done and uploaded and I don't have to freaking mess around and in two it will be up Sunday the uh, last how many hours I have left so so whatever I don't whatever I don't finish in this race today I will finish it tomorrow and then it will be already uploaded for Sunday Yeah, because in the next hour, next half hour, it should be completely dark. And this is actually the furthest we've done in a Le Mans race, I should point out. Oh, wow, John Dashy. Why do you have to move over the right block off Michael when he has one hell of a run on you, bro? Because I don't know if you guys are aware about this, but if I end up doing 16 hours or, mo or do more than like a 7 hour, this would actually be the longest video on this channel. But actually, actually 10 hours and something minutes was actually the longest. Well, that was because Travis screwed up. And I said, you know, let's not upload Auto Club.
I'll have to quote, edit the title of the video. Now, let's hope to heaven's sake, and Greg can agree with me on this, let's hope to heaven's sake, we do not go three for three in, sh in postponing the Russia Renegade for Monday. Because I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to go three for three in postponing the Russia Renegade on Monday after what happened this, after what happened last weekend. I'm just going to throw that out there. I don't think all of us want that to happen. We're now about to be eight and a half hours in the race. Yeah, I've been doing the 24 hours of Le Mans. think about the reaction about Jambo Meester not returning for the remainder of the season, including the playoffs, which I think is the right thing. Orman and I agree he needs to retire. Uh, excuse me, I just belched. run why well that's because I'm trying to not hit the freaking wall <laughs> yeah this is the night part of this race this is where the sun's gone down the lights are on and you just need to be careful not to damage your car because if you damage your car and you can't see where you're going you're so well There's the podium on the front straightaway here at Circa Della Sar. But yeah, Greg probably already mentioned he's already got 50 subscribers, which is great. So he's on, he's halfway to 100. So here's the um, here's the alternate plan uh, that we have coming up, and Greg will have to will let you guys know on his channel what the situation is. If my laptop keyboard if it comes to you have a new internet provider, well that could be why. But anyway, if my laptop comes today or tomorrow. 
here's what's going to happen, because this is going to shake everything up as far as schedule is concerned regarding about the Rush Hour Renegade moving forward. Which means Greg Rutz will be in charge of the pre-race show, and if that is the case, Greg is very honored for that opportunity. Uh, which will be the Rush Hour Renegade um, and pre-race show, if that's what Greg wants to do. If Greg's okay with it, great. Because Greg Rutz will, um, or Greg will uh, do the pre-race show. And then he'll send it over to me, which will be live at the track, and then we'll get you guys caught up on, and we'll have the Golden Crowd count down the green. Which, that will be fun. Of course, Golden Crowd is back for another season for Count Down the Green. woo -hoo. And And the best part is, the race will be premiered. You're okay with that? Sweet. That's when, that's if, um, my laptop comes. Just, just so you don't get your excitement to, uh, extreme, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Oh, one other thing I need to mention regarding about, uh, the, uh, you inviting me over, yada, yada, yada. Um, we're gonna have to do it on the day I'm not doing neither the weekly show nor the IMSA podcast. I just want to throw that out there. Or, when you're not working. Let's, let's get that right. Yeah, let me tell you something, folks. Doing an endurance race at Le Mans is difficult, really. For this reason. This is not like Daytona. I mean, this is the longest endurance race as far as running is concerned. I think it's like the 90th or something race here at Le Mans. And I thought since Le Mans will be coming up around June, why don't I go ahead and get this race taken care of? That way I don't have to worry about having to do the race, if you know what I mean. Um, of course, Greg will be doing that for the Rush Hour Running Gate. He'll probably uh, get you ready for the pre-race. Your... He'll be what I like to call race day, is what Greg's going to do. That's what Greg's uh, role will be. It's like uh, PCSRA race day presented by Vizio. And then we'll have the Golden Crowd pre-race show. You know, with Orman, Cody, myself, uh, uh, Cody Smart to be more specific. Um, and whoever, want, whoever else wants to join. Because I'll do the post-race show with... Uh, other friend of mine, Lance Andrews, so. Either that or I can do it with the group, so we'll see. Because we'll actually have a PCSRA Insider show coming up on Monday, should I have my laptop today or tomorrow and if that is the case oh boy we're in for a fun show so Monday will be uh, the BCSRA Insider Show uh, we don't have a time or the PCSRA Express however a time has not been announced because I don't know when we will be doing that so I'll let you all know that or you can Look at the Blue Hedgehog News Report Facebook page and we'll announce the time when it comes available. But for now, we don't have a time announced for the Insider Show, just so you know. This 
racetrack is so bumpy because you're on public roads you know you're racing on public roads I'm most of this track you're racing on public roads others you're racing on the circuit like the Bugatti circuit or you know what I mean it's one of the most difficult challenge difficult endurance races in the entire world period You know, this is a three and a half minute race. Because I'll handle the post race activities. So, yeah. Because we'll have our veterans shoot out. The race will start at 6.30 or 5.30 Central, 6.30 Pensacola time. So that means we'll be on the air then which means we'll be I'll have that recorded just so you guys are excited about that and we'll do it for 70 laps which no points are on the line I'm gonna mention that I'll check the messenger in a minute. Yeah, I can't push even harder, because if I do, I could end up hitting the freaking tire wall. I've only made a few mistakes. I've spun out. Of, I've gone off a couple of times. Oh, I need to tell Taylor if he comes across the stream to uh, DM me regarding about my package. The spread of the coronavirus could have not come at a worse time for cor Well, that sucks. Uh, Greg Retz will or Greg will um, we might actually have the Rush Hour Renegade next Thursday as a co-op but hopefully we'll say some good things okay, um, hopefully Monday on the Rush Hour Renegade depending if anything happens between now and then uh, we'll, Greg will recap week four of the XFL to see if Tampa Bay ended their losing streak or continues to be winless. Plus, Greg will also talk about the controversy incident with Angela Rock on Twitter that caused a firestorm this past week. Wonder what his reactions are. And he'll also talk about who, if he thinks the new playoff format for MLB, 
coming in the near future would be a good success or will it be a disaster? So all that and all and more on Greg's Monday on Monday show with Greg Rutz. Time has not been announced depending on Greg's schedule, so we'll have to keep you updated on that. Tomorrow, uh, while uh, this race will be premiered during the 11 o'clock, join me at 6.15 for the radio portion of the Overnight Express at Arkins Theaters uh, because we'll have a lot of fun to talk about. Talk about the movies and other yada 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 yeah, Greg that will be exciting. So that'll be at 6.15 Central Time and all that. And then Sunday, join us for, uh, we'll actually be in a voice call for the NASCAR Cup Series Auto Club 400 in memory of Kobe Bryant and his daughter. Should be a lot of fun. There will be a moment of silence. There will be um, a uh, donation. And uh, yeah, also, Greg, let me know what you think about the bounty stuff that we had on Twitter for the NASCAR site. Because I'm kind of curious about what you'll say as far as that is concerned, which Greg will talk about that on Monday's show. Or if you want to talk about it during the Rush Hour Renegade today. With uh, two cup drivers getting a chance to possibly win a hundred grand if they beat Kyle Bush. If not, it will be still donated regardless. So, yeah. Also, Greg's going to get a brand new uh, truck number since uh, Daniel Witter is going to be in the 83 for trucks. So, of course, uh, Dan also uh, Daniel Suarez is running the, has got Mamba uh, race shoes, which I think he'll donate those. To, uh, I think the Kobe Bryant Foundation or something like that. I don't know. You get my point. Right now, we're already on X. I believe they're on Xfinity final practice. Because qualifying tomorrow will look. is going to be a lot better for them. So, an Xfinity race may not be rained out. I do need to remind uh, Greg Runtz, or Greg, I'll just say this. I do need to remind you, Greg, should the cup race get postponed, the Rush Hour Renegade will come on after the cup race. I want to remind you about that, so. I need to ask Bob Pockris, which reminds me, I need to ask Pockris. Yeah, I just asked you what time. Oh, 12.30? Yeah, 12.30. I'll need to set my alarm for like 11.30. Also, this will be the first time Greg has seen has seen me since my little... Since my little uh, dentist I issue. Alright. It will be 12.30, okay? That's what time. Sure, give me a sec. Be Actually, I'll be right back. It'll be 
12.30 here. Next Thursday, okay. Message my friend. Let me ask. I need to ask my buddy William. What is he majoring? Sorry, I was. I had to message my friend William because why not? Can't wait to say to can't wait to say. Oh, uh, you've been off. okay. You just got off, so. Oh, oh. By the way, Greg. Uh, I don't know if you are aware about this, but. The palace at Auburn Hills, uh, what was used to be the home of the Pistons, is being torn down. They're tearing it down. Now they have the Little Caesars Arena in Detroit.
Yeah, and this is also going to be the first time I get to meet, Gr I get to see Greg. Well, for two things. Number one, since my, since I just changed my glasses on him, that's number one. But number two, since my dentist appointment deal. I'll need to take a shower during my driver change or after uh, I get a good part of this race in. Might actually go take a shower. Like, the next time I go to the pits, I'll need to take a shower. So I can, so I can get into some more comfortable clothes. Okay, you're coming up on a black mark. Greg, not except, wait, are you referring to, yeah, I'm going to be naked in the shower, okay? Crap, I've done that twice. Part about me, like I said, and I'm gonna go in the shower, not na uh, well, naked and not with Barbie. Watch the premiere, so I watched watch the rest. Don't you mean I will watch the rest later, not I watch the rest later? I'm telling Cody. Ah, brother. What happened? I just told the warman, so we're fine.
Temperatures now down the 70s and low 80s.
I'm yelling at him, hey, I'm going to catch you. We get out of the eastern place, which is all open, and I start to run him down. I'm yelling at him again. At that point, he turns up, puts his head straight up in the air, and says, hey, I've got a gun, I've got a gun. It's not mine. And somebody just said the five letter word. Yeah, sorry about that. That would be it for me. I did a great job. Nine hours. I'll take a. I'll definitely take a breather. It's time for my AI driver to take over. As we got a three-lap lead, so we can be okay. Be okay with a three-lap lead. If I pit now, I can go ahead and take a breather and just relax. But, well well done for me to make it this far on a stint. Nine hours of almost drive time. Yeah, now my AI driver's going to have to do 30, 45 minutes of drive time. Because he's actually going to run the night part of this race. I just want to get to almost, almost dark. But I'll take a good, good job for me. All right. 